I started this conference after Josh Burkus emailed me and said, hey, you want to run a conference? And I said, I'm already running a conference. What do you mean? He said, no, 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 not just BSG can. Do you want to run a Postgres conference? Well, maybe. And here we are 12, 12 <laughs> years later and 13 conferences. No, couldn't be 12. Anyway, off by one. So about this session, it's much like the first session, only it's at the end, not at the beginning. We're going to do thanks. <laughs> you're going to have questions, <laughs> notes, questions, and then there's going to be auctions. And if you've never been to an auction, even if you've been to an auction, you've never been to an auction quite like this. So I'm going to go through the list of sponsors, and we'll have one huge round of applause at the end because time. OK. Some of these sponsors have been, been back year and year again, and sometimes they, some of them have been back or are, are here for the first time. But it doesn't matter how many times you've been here, you're always welcome. Thank you very much, sponsors. Salesforce, Salesforce Fujitsu, uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft, NTT, Crunchy Data, Citus Data, Enterprise DB, <laughs> Big Breath, SR. A OSS, Second Quadrant, P PGX, sorry, PostgreSQL Experts, Pivotal, 12 Apollos, JetBrain, JetBrains, Percona, TransferWise, Data Egret, Avito, Best Place, and OmniTI. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything that you've done for us. Slides, speakers, if you haven't already, please upload your slides there. It, it doesn't automatically go over to the website. I have to transfer them over after they're uploaded, but please upload them. Ooh, I got a microphone. Um, go to your head. I can clip it on here. Okay, so uh, hi for those of you who don't know me. I'm Magnus Hagener from the Postgres core team. Uh, for those of you who do know me, I have nothing to do with the Postgres core team. I'll take no responsibility for anything. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for those of you who have been here before, you know that we often announce uh, new Postgres committers during PGCon. It's been a while since we did that. Uh, so this year, together with the other uh, existing committers, uh, we've decided to announce more than one at the same time. Uh, so we're adding a few new committers. These are all uh, active and uh, very productive Postgres contributors who we hope will now be even more active and even more productive. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll do the same as Dan did. I'll go through them all, and then uh, we can thank them later. Uh, so we're adding uh, Thomas Monroe, uh, Thomas Vondra. Hey, I said I'll go through them all. You get to upload at the end. <laughs> So uh, Thomas Monroe, Thomas Vondra, uh, Amit Kapila, Etsuro Fujita, Alexander Korotkov, Mikhail Paquier, Peter Gagan. No, we're not going to do the rest of the ones in the room. Uh, so those are the ones. This is more than we normally do, but hopefully this means that we'll be able to make the next version even better. So uh, for all you guys, welcome to the team. It's now your responsibility. Yes. Back to Dom. Thank you, Magnus. So the speakers may notice that there's a new way of recording this year. Hopefully it worked. But it's been an experiment, really. Uh, the U of O has never done this amount of recording in one session. But hopefully they'll be uploaded within a few weeks, not months and months and months like previous years, because it was all on me. Seriously, once the conference is done, I'm sick of the conference. I don't want to do anything with the conference in, you know, for another three or four months. But anyway, feedback. Please go to the feedback and give feedback, find your entry in the, in the schedule, the sessions that you attended, and give feedback. Don't go to the 2014 schedule, but go to the <laughs> 2018 schedule. Mr. Frost, where's Mr. Frost? Mr. Frost has something to say. 
the, the CFP is open. That's what he wanted me to say. The CFP is open for Postgres open. Anything else you wanted me to say? Early bird is also open. Er, early bird registration is also open. And, oh, wait. I thought I had another slide. You skip that to go back on. There it is. Yeah. Sorry. Did I start with that and just went straight through the second one? So everybody can read, read this. Yeah, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, the postcards you see in the slides are available up here, so please take one as you leave. Will, will those be auctioned off? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Do you want to extend the auction that far? Uh, no. <laughs> Speaking of auctions, does anyone, someone had books to auction off. Someone was going to give me some books to auction. Here, here are the books. So. Basically, I, I really don't know how the auctions first got started. I think we had, I think it was um, uh, swag from, from one of the vendors. They didn't want to take home a poster or something. So they said, hey, listen, you want to auction this off? And we said, sure. And now we've already had an auction at the, end, at the closing session. The proceeds to the auction go to the Ottawa Mission. They do a lot of work with homelessness, addiction, very good charity. Um, and it's, you really have to bid competitively, like pool your bids, like a group of people get together and bid against another group of people. Or we, an apple. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or an empty paper bag. <laughs> a broken pen. So, as is tradition, we always sell off any currency that's you know roughly equivalent to Canadian, we take we take U.S. dollars at par at the moment. That's very generous. It is, isn't it? So, what we do every year is we auction off the last cookie. So, this smells delicious. This one, I think this one is a molasses cookie. These are the ones that we had yesterday. Ignore the bag it is in. It was not bought from Starbucks. So, we're going to start the bidding at $1. Who wants $1 for the last cookie? $1 here. Do I hear $2? Anyone? $2. $10 from Michael. Uh, sorry, Matthew. Matthew says $10. $20 here. You know how this works. So, I have $20 from Mr. Haas. Do I hear 25 from anyone else for the last cookie? 25 in the back. I can't see who did. Okay. Name? Ilya. 25 from Ilya. Don't let this go to Russia. <laughs> Do I hear 30? 30 dollars. 25 going once. 25 going twice. Sold to Ilya. A cookie. Thank you very much. So, So over here we have a very great management tool. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where did I put it? Did I lose it? No, here it is. It's hard to see, but it's a two-headed coin. On the front is an elephant, and it says Postgres. On the back is a dolphin, and it says MySQL. <laughs> Everybody needs one of these. Why? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I opened it. It came up Postgres. It works. It works. So, 20 bucks. 20 bucks going once. Do I hear 25? 25. Do I hear 30? 30. Do I hear 40? 40 down here. 40 going once. Do I hear 50? 50 dollars, anyone? 40 dollars going once. 40 dollars going twice. Come on. What? 42. 45. 50. What's the backstory of this? What country does it originate from? So you don't have any import duties, none whatsoever. So it's a Russian coin. 60. 60. 
He upbid himself, so $60. 50 oh yeah, I don't keep track, I just. So 60 going once, 60 going twice, sold. We'll put it over here, thank you. Sorry, what's your name for? Oh, yeah. So, we have two copies of Mastering PostgreSQL in Application Development. That's not relevant. <laughs> what is relevant is the author promises to sign one. <laughs> We're not going to tell you which one. <laughs> And he promises not to sell, sign the other one. Okay? So whichever one appeals to you, author, put up your hand, please. Okay? So he, he will, okay? Now, these are not necessarily in pristine condition, not because they've been abused, but because they're not necessarily brand new. Okay? So the author, you know, has gone to a lot of trouble to bring these here over long distances. So do we hear $20? They're pre-loved. Pre-loved. <laughs> $20. $20. $20. Do I hear 25 anywhere? 25? 25 here? 30? 30 over here? 40? Do I hear 45? 45? 50? 50 back here? 60? <laughs> he blinked when I said 60. <laughs> Sorry. 65 going once? 60, I said. Uh, 60. We're at 60. We're at 60. 65 going once. Do I hear 70 anywhere? 70 over here. 75, anyone? 75. It's a great. Okay, 80 over here. <laughs> so, sorry, 85? 90? 86. 86. 86 going on. What? 100? Okay, what? he's not fooling around anymore. <laughs> so 100 going once, it's Michael, right? Michael. Michael? 100 going once, 100 going twice, sold. Thank you very much. So for the purposes of the auction, we'll call that book number one. We'll come back to book number two soon. But next, we need to sell the second last cookie. <laughs> and now, those, those of you that are laughing have either been here before or have never heard of this before. But we're selling off the second last cookie, which is different from the first, from the last cookie, because this one is, is chocolate chip. See? So, it smells so good. Twenty dollars over here. <laughs> what? Thirty over here. Thirty dollars for the second last cookie. Do I hear thirty-one? You can you can pull bids. This is an opportune time to pull a bid. Sorry, it's thirty-one. Oh, oh, sorry. Thirty dollars going once. Thirty dollars going twice. Thirty dollars to Stephen Price. Hi, hi. It's a, it's a free? It's gluten-free. It's a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. Wait, is this the third to the last cookie? Uh, uh, no, that, uh, I don't know. Uh, th this is totally new to me, but this is a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. Is, is it? Do I, do I have that right? It's a gluten-free? Gluten-free chocolate chip cookie from Freshie. From Freshie. Fresh today. Fresh today. They make them there, and apparently it didn't get taken up for some reason. So, I never got an oh, $5. Who wants this for $5? <coughs> We've never auctioned off one of these before. <laughs> $5 to Matthew. $6. $5 going once. $5 going twice. Sold. Sold to Matthew. <laughs> All right. We'll do the second book now, since we're all done doing firsts and seconds and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, if you don't need your lanyards or your bags, bring them down to the front. 
the lanyards will go to a summer camp for kids with vision problems, blind kids basically. I have a friend who runs that camp and she uses these lanyards there. Put them in the bag at the front, please. And if you don't need these, I'll don donate them to the Ottawa Mission. They always need bags like this to give away to folks. Do you, do you want the, uh, the holders? Uh, I can use the holders too if you want. If you don't want the badge holders, give them back. We'll reuse them next year. They're also biodegradable, I think. Yes, they are biodegradable. So for the second book, starting at $10. Who? Sorry, Jonathan? Ten dollars. Twenty. Fifteen. No. F Fifty. Five zero. Fifty dollars, Jonathan. Sixty here. Seventy here. Do I hear eighty anywhere? Eighty over here. One hundred. One twenty-five. One thirty. No. No. One twenty-six. One twenty-six. One fifty back here. One hundred then. <laughs> he's 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 hit yeah, 150. Yep. Yeah. So 150. 150 going once. Do you say hang on? You're checking funds. 160. 160. 165. Do you accept visa? Yes, we do. 200. 200 down here. 200. <laughs> Them's fighting words. So the current bid is 200 to Jonathan at the front. $200 going once, $200 going twice, sold to Jonathan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So somehow we have to figure out whether A or B gets the autograph. So let's try this first. Soon after I get the back stripe. But we have two pieces of embroidery, each one with Slonix on them. So did you make these? Who made these? Who? Oh, OK. So we have the first one. Let's get it. So it's, it's, it looks like that. So it seems a shame to start at anything under $10. $10. Who wants ten dollars over here? Do I hear fifteen anywhere? Twenty. Twenty over here. Do I hear thirty? Thirty anywhere? Twenty dollars going once. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Thirty. Thirty going once. Thirty going twice. Sold. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out your name, so. Thank you. All right. Now, I think the only fair way to figure out who gets a signature is to first ask if both of you who got the books would like it signed. Both of you want it signed? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Okay, no, but. Do, do both of you want it signed? Because I, I know a way of resolving it if you both want it signed or if you both don't want it signed. But if only one of you wants it signed and one of you doesn't want it signed, then that's it. Well, or they could pay for the uh, opportunity to not have it signed. They, they could. <laughs> they could, yes. Sorry, who is the other book winner? Do you want it signed? Do you want it signed? He said, he said yes, he wants it signed. I would like it to be signed, but I, do, I don't want this to end up being like, you know, either. OK. Like, how, 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 about, how, about how about people bid for the right for one of us to have it signed? Well, I think you should get Catherine's signature. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to bring the books back together. <laughs> to have, <laughs> is that? <laughs> Is that sufficient? Does that make everyone happy? Half a, half a signature? No, no, he's not happy with that. All right, so let's hear your master one. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, okay. no. But how this works is I will be playing for one of you, and the audience will be playing for the rest of you, for the other, other one, right? And if I win, you get it signed. 
If the audience wins, he gets it signed. How does it work? Because everyone's going to play against me, and if they lose, they sit down until there's just two of us left. Okay? So, this is very self governing. If you see someone cheating, because the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do my hand from here, and then I'm going to reveal, and you'll know. Okay, so it's one, two, three, show. Okay? Yeah, everybody has to stand up. If you're playing, you got to stand up. Everybody watch everyone else around, okay? So I'm going to do this with my eyes closed, so I'm not going to see what you guys, okay? All right, ready? Are we ready? Paying attention? So it's one, two, three, present, okay? So one, two, three. All right? All right? Paper, paper. Whoever's got scissors, if you don't have scissors, sit down. Yeah, Ty goes to me. So if you, got, if you, if you have paper, you got to sit down. Is that what you meant by tie? Tie goes to me? Yes. Okay. So the only people that are left standing are the ones with scissors. Is that what you're saying? Okay. If you had scissors, stay standing. Okay. One, two, three. Mm, I still got my eyes closed. Okay. All right. You're still in. Okay. All right. Here we go again. One, two, three. Ty goes to me. So, so who's left? It's just the two, three of us. Just the three? Four. Four. Yep. All right. So it's just the, two, just the three of us, right? No, four. Four. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. All right, you, you win. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, let's do this again. One, two, three. You get signed. <laughs> uh, for, for the record, it was Jonathan Katz that one on that I went on behalf of. So, so, sorry, sorry. Um, now we have the next piece of embroidery. It's many more slonics. It's eight, ten, eleven slonics. One primary. <laughs> ten, ten, and clustered as well. Some remote, some local. So. Starting at ten dollars. Who wants this for ten dollars? Ten dollars going once? Twenty. Twenty over here? Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Thirty? Forty. Forty? Do I hear forty-five? Fifty. Sixty, anyone? Fifty dollars going once? Fifty-five. Fifty-five? Do I hear sixty anywhere? Fifty-five going once? Fifty-five going twice? Sold. Okay, I think this is a big ticket item. Handmade Slonik. Where is this one from? What country? Oh, uh, Mark Wong makes them in Portland, Oregon. And it traveled up to uh, Lenningstock in uh, Northwest in April, up in Bellingham, Washington, and then I brought it up here. Okay, Mark Wong made it, and it. It has already been to South Linux Northwest. Yep. And now it's here, ready for sale. Well traveled. And it's so cute and cuddly. So uh, I think we should start at $20. 40. 40 over here. 50. 50 over here. 60. 60 over here. 70. 80. 80. 100 over here. 100 going. 100. 110, anyone? 110. 110 right here. 120 right here. 
120? 130? 140? 140? The bid is 140? 140 going once? 140 going twice? 160 at the back? Oh, 165. You have 200 right down here. Now we're getting serious. 210. I'm not even looking for bids now, and people are yelling about 210. 210 going once. 210 going twice. Do I hear 215? 210 going three times. Sold. Did anyone have anything else to auction off? Because I think we're done. Okay. So. I have no. one of these really neat power supply things here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Haas can sit down. <laughs> I have something very important to bring your attention to. <laughs> Do you know this shoe? It's Slonic. It's Slonic. Okay, anyway. PGCon next year will be roughly the same time of year. Last week in May, about this time, so it's almost exactly one year minus three or four days. We'll be back at University of Ottawa, be the same campus, roughly the same food, hopefully the same social evening. Was that food good enough? Yeah, okay, I thought so. Um, wide enough range of refreshments? Okay. Any question? Okay. One last note of thanks. I got to read this because I only wrote it yesterday. Sponsors are the backbone and, back and foundation of any conference. Without sponsors, the expenses would prohibit any such venture. It's not as, it's not as cheap as you think, even at a university. One group which never gets enough thanks are the speakers who do the work. So there's a lot more to writing uh, a session and turning up for the hour or the three hours for the tutorial. So thank, thank you to the speakers. <laughs> I also want to thank Stacy and Catherine for helping out the registration desk. They, they do a lot of stuff there that lets me wander around and do other stuff that only I can do and I don't have to split my time. So thank you very much, Stacy. <laughs> And regardless of the contributions of, of sponsors, speakers, and volunteers, there's no use in giving a conference unless people actually turn up. Uh, the PGCon approach to conferences has proven consistently popular, and by that I mean we hit a high of 265 a few years ago, and then it dropped one year after that, but then it's been going steadily up, and I think this year was 219. I think that's what it was. Um, so thank you for attendees who for the past 12 years have shown us such kind approval by coming back year after year. Thank you very much. So that, that's it. Uh, don't forget about that one. And any ideas, questions, comments? Oh, lanyards, yes. As you're heading out, if you don't want the lanyards, drop them in, drop them in this bag. Please, please disconnect them from, from, from this bit. And if you don't need your bags, leave them down here as well. We'll, we'll pass them on to the Ottawa mission. Thank you very much. See you next year. <laughs>